Okay, so now we're putting together the IQ light that we've cut out the pieces for. This is uh, 30 pieces, uh, 20 are yellow and 10 are blue to make the symmetrical design eventually of this, except it's going to be 200% the size of this one. So to begin, we start on layer one, which requires five pieces. And we're going to put them together in a star shape that goes a little something like this. The straight edge of the piece always goes underneath the rounded edge of the other piece. And then you twist it and do the same thing with the other one. Hopefully it goes more smoothly for you. And then turn it again. And like I said, this is going to have five pieces, so it's going to look kind of like a five-pointed star when we're done. And when you meet up the sides, just do the same thing. The straight edge of this one is underneath the curved edge of this one. So this is the inside, and this is the outside. When you add on the next layer, and I'm using a different color to illustrate the different layers, you're going to face them in the opposite direction. So when you put this on, it should go in like this. Always making sure that the rounded edges are predominant over the straight edges. And this layer is going to require five pieces as well. Okay, that's off to a good start. It's kind of creating a wave motion where one layer faces one way and another layer faces the opposite way. The central layer is going to be yellow again, and it's going to consist of 10 pieces, I believe. Sorry about that, just needed a coffee break. So the middle layer, which is the third layer, is going to take 10 pieces this time. And again, we're going to go opposite to the last layer. This one's a little more confusing because it requires pieces that are facing different ways, like this. The middle layer is going to connect like this, basically. And the hardest part is getting this to zip with the layer below it and the layer above it. But we can start simply enough by turning this piece on its side, making sure that the diagonals are going this way as opposed to this way, and sitting that right on top of one of the blue pieces. Always remembering that the curved side has predominance over the straight side. The next piece is going to be this piece turned like that. We're going to attach it to our previous piece and down here so that we get this going on. The next one's going to be the same way as the first one on this level, only move this way. Connecting to the blue here, and the last yellow one we'll put in here.
And I hope you guys can see this all right. Looks like one of our hinges came apart, so we'll just put that back in there. And that might happen again, but just keep an eye on those. Okay, so we got five pieces in already, and somebody called me, so I had to break the video up. But um, we're going to match this uh, orientation here. And move it to the next one. It's every other, every other. Make sure that straight edge goes behind the rounded edge of the previous one, like so. And continue this layer. And it's going to want to come apart, especially if you're using really thin paper. But trust me, once you're done, this thing is pretty sturdy. Even the big ones. Just two pieces left in this layer. You can see a nice little space where the last one's going to go. Match it up with the second to last one. Just to make sure the orientation is right. You're going to get a few creases in this paper because these are tight spots, but the lamp will look good overall when you're done. Okay. Now I need five more blue pieces. <sighs> Just can't stay away from that coffee. Okay, so this layer is going to take five blue pieces again. And in this version of the video, we have the correct number of pieces. These ones are going to be oriented the same way as the bottom ones. So we're just going to orient that the same way and then bring it up here. And this curved side is going to fit against this straight side and the same way over here. Curved sides always on top. And these ones don't connect like the previous level. There's just they face the same way and they skip a little space, just like the other blue layer. The blue layers here are number layers number two and four. And they connect in three places here, here, and here. Okay, that was relatively painless. And now, after 25 pieces altogether, we have five left. To make the top. And as you can see, we're getting that star shape again, just like we had made with the first layer. These ones are going to be oriented the same as the blue ones, just like that, except they're going to be turned 90 degrees and they fit right in here. This is where it starts to get really tight, so you can bend the paper and you will crease it some, just don't rip it.
Looks like that piece came undone. And on this layer, we're finally connecting all four corners of the piece that we put in. But sometimes it gets difficult, so if you need to undo this uh, very top connection, you can undo it and then put it together at the very end. Don't get discouraged, the lamp is going to be a very strange and non-spherical lumpy shape until you get all pieces connected. And the final piece. This is a spherical IQ lamp made of interlocking quadrilaterals. This is its little brother, and in the next video we're going to turn it into a hanging lantern. Okay, uh, we made two IQ lamps out of paper. Cut them out, put them together. Uh, one, the bigger one is 200% larger than the smaller one, and now we're going to turn it into a lamp. First of all, I want to hang the small one from the big one as sort of a decoration. There's not going to be a light bulb in the small one, but um, it's just going to hang below it. It might look awkward when the lamp is lit up. Um, it might not, but we'll see. To get this situated, you want to take apart one of the, the bottom or the top, it doesn't matter, and then stick this in there. And um, This is just a piece of braided string. Um, and I tied off both ends so that these knots will hold um, inside this crevice right here. So I just took it apart, I put the string inside one of the lips, and then I just put the other pieces back in there. It's not going to fit perfectly now, but if you want to, you can go back and shave some paper off of these pieces, or you can just allow it to do its thing like so. I'm going to do the same thing with the small one. Open up one of the ends. Sometimes they don't want to open. There we go. And put this in one of the crevices, like so. And then bring back the other pieces around it. This might get a little messy, but um, you don't have to make the smaller piece, you can just make the lamp itself, which is the bigger piece, and uh, that should suffice. There, that'll work. As long as a cat doesn't try to play with it, that should stay on there. And now we have two hanging lanterns coming off the same thing. We're going to do the same thing with the opposite side of the big one up here. Made easier to detect because I alternated the colors of the layers. But you can make these pieces any colors you want at all. This is our lamp. And I've already adjusted the spacer uh, so this will hang in the middle of the lamp. You want to use a low wattage lamp so it's not hot and you can get these strings in the links that I provide at the end of the tutorial. They're not expensive.
The most expensive thing in this project is probably your time. Having a little bit of difficulty with this one just because it's a big wire, but we'll get it. As you can see, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but that which is not difficult to achieve is not worth achieving. Again, you could cut the paper there to make it fit better, but um, I just am okay with squishing the paper in around it, because no one's going to see the top of this anyway. And then when you're done, you have an IQ lamp. 